Hey guys, Neely here. I'm coming in today for a real quick video on how to sterilize and sanitize baby bottles and sippy cup parts and breast pump parts. I have been needing to get a lot more consistent on sterilizing the kids' sippy cup parts and I want to start doing it at least weekly. So I thought I would do a quick video to show you how I do it. And I just pulled down from the attic some different baby bottles that I have and uh, breast pump parts and I'll show you how I get all of that sanitized. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just put in about a cup of water in my Instant Pot and then I'm gonna use some kind of a rack. You can use the rack that the Instant Pot came with, although I'm going to be doing like straws and stuff and I don't want stuff to fall through and be on the bottom of the pot because it gets real hot on steam mode, which is what I'm gonna be using. So I'm not gonna use this, but if you have larger objects, um, you can totally use the trivet that it came with. You could also use these boiling inserts. Um, these are from Ikea. And I'll link up to my Instant Pot Accessories video where I talk about these um, if you're interested in looking for them. But they fit in just like this. And you can, you can actually put three in there if you have three. Um, and you can put your different parts in those. Today I'm just gonna be using my basic vegetable steamer. It's pretty simple, just sits in like that. And now I'm just gonna throw all my stuff in. It's already washed, so it's not uh, needing to be cleaned, but just needs to be sanitized. I don't wanna fill it too terribly full, so this looks like about enough. And there's no actual instructions from Instant Pot, at least that I could find that talk about how to sterilize, sanitize um, different things. But what I am doing is just using the instructions that are given for sterilizing the jars and the um, milk that you use when you make yogurt. There is instructions for that and that should definitely be sufficient for sterilizing all of these things. Lots of people use silicone products in the Instant Pot and so there's no worry about the Instant Pot getting too hot and melting these things. As long as the stuff that you are sanitizing is calling for sterilization, like a boiling water sterilization, it should be totally fine doing it in the Instant Pot under pressure. So now I'm just gonna lock the lid, make sure it's on sealing, of course. And I am just gonna use the steam function and put it on for one minute. After it comes to pressure and steams for one minute, it will go on to keep warm mode and I am just gonna let it natural pressure release at that point and after that, it will be all done. So while the Instant Pot is doing its thing, I just wanted to mention real quick that this video is just to show you how I sanitize. Um, I am not affiliated with the Instant Pot company at all, so if you have any questions or concerns about the safety and um, efficacy of sanitizing in the Instant Pot, definitely take that up with the Instant Pot company itself. Uh, this is just information that I pieced together from looking through different stuff online. There's not a whole lot of info about sanitizing in the Instant Pot, but from what I researched, this seems to be a healthy way, but definitely reach out to the Instant Pot Company if you have any questions or concerns. Pressure has come down naturally, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. Nothing too exciting to see. So all I'm gonna do now is just get these out of here and put them in my uh, sink drainer and let them completely dry and cool before I use them. So that's it guys. I hope you found it helpful to see how I sanitize and sterilize in my Instant Pot. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be back again soon.